My name is Vanessa and I'm here to talk about what it's like to work for a U.S. Senator. Uh, actually, Vanessa, you worked for Elizabeth Warren when she was just a candidate, not a senator. Quiet, you're ruining my story. So, in September of 2012, I was recruited to run an office of door-to-door -door canvassers in the beautiful Commonwealth of Boston, Massachusetts. Organizing a canvassing office was unlike any experience I've ever had before. I was a canvasser in New York City, fundraising for groups like grassroots campaigns, Children's International, uh, Greenpeace. But Boston was door to door. It was different, it was new, and I was very scared and nervous. <laughs> Remember when you set fire to the office within an hour of arriving at headquarters? That was an accident. Or was it? Stop it, I'm not a closet Republican. Anyway, I did kind of set fire to the office on my first day, but that's a story for another time. I heard she voted for Romney. Stop telling people that. So yes, I was hired by grassroots campaigns and Environment Massachusetts in an effort to represent Elizabeth Warren in the upcoming elections. And we were also trying to get President Obama reelected. Um, it was pretty cool. Elizabeth Warren was an awesome lady. She had um we well boston massachusetts had never had a female senator before so that alone was exciting not only that but her big statement was that big banks weren't playing fair corporations weren't playing fair and it was time to relinquish old views and renovate the system in america it felt good to represent a fighter someone who could stand alone in politics being aggressive and yet at the same time soft and warm. Our days going door to door and talking to people about Elizabeth Warren were long and hard. As a person running the office, I worked seven days a week from 7 a.m. till midnight, 1 p.m. and that was common during the final closing months. I had to sort through paperwork, I had to uh, present reports, I had to lead group huddles in the morning, I had to have discussions, quickly eat my lunch around noon, spend hours in the freezing cold in the fall in Massachusetts knocking on doors, keeping tabs of where my group was, getting everyone together at the end of the day, training new recruits, hiring people, firing people, debriefing staff at the end of the day, keeping up with current politics, watching the news, and over time, we were just so tired. Times were rough, hours were long, degrees were low. Seriously, never spend a winter in Boston. I don't know how they do it. But it was all worth it when we won the fight. The moral of the story is meaningful work is priceless and it can and will motivate you to work long hours, quickly stuff food inside your body so you can get to the next project. Even though we were underfed and overworked, we were all so happy, especially when we all got together to watch the Electoral College on election day and see the answers and to see that President Obama was reelected and Elizabeth Warren was elected to be the first female senator of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. It was just all worth it. There is great satisfaction in doing something and giving something that you care about 100% of your effort with no complaints. The happiness and confidence that I gained from that experience stuck with me for years and ended up fueling my passion to do things that make me feel happy, do things that felt right, do things that helped others to serve others. I encourage you to find your passion in life. Think of something, anything that fuels you. Um, it could be maybe the refugee crisis in Syria. It could be veganism. It could be environmentalism. It could be uh, making sure that we get more books and uh, less banned books or whatever your passion may be. I don't know. It's up to you. But it's honestly, work is honestly a blessing from above. And there can, at one point, be a very spiritual moment for yourself when you realize that you're doing something fulfilling and that your life means something at that moment and your contribution means something at that moment. 
If you can go to work and spend hours doing something that makes you tired and hungry and maybe even keeps you broke because who knows, checks don't come on time, working for nonprofits, you might not make extra money. If you are happy, if you feel fulfilled and you're doing something right, thanks for watching.